Welcome to the Easy Worship tutorial videos. I'm going to be teaching you how to use Easy Worship, the basic layout, and everything that you need to know to run successfully and smoothly on a Sunday morning. So, first, come up to the top and click on Easy Worship. I already have it opened, so once it loads, this is what it will look like. Over here on the left, we have our schedule, which we'll talk about more in a later video. In the middle, we have preview, which shows us what's coming up next in our schedule. And then on the right, we have our live output. So this screen over here is going to show you what is happening on the live feed. At the top, you just have some basic buttons. You can start a new schedule. You can open a schedule. You can go to the store and get some graphics. You won't really need that. You won't need this web. Over here, we have the remote feature. On the right, this is more important. We have a few buttons over here, the go live button, the alerts button. Right now, we don't use these buttons at all, but you'll definitely wanna look over here. The logo button, when you click this, it will display our logo on the screens. The black button will make the screen go black. The clear button will just make the screen kind of go blank. And then the live button means that whatever is in the live column is going to be showing live on the screens. So right now you'll see that it's selected and blinking, which means whatever I have selected is going to show on the screens. If I turn it off, then now they're not seeing anything on those screens at all. So this is what Easy Worship will typically look like when you open it up. However, there are a couple things that are hidden, right? If you click and drag up, you will reveal another feature, which is the live output. We don't need this feature to be visible during the service. It's just an extra. But even below that, you can click and drag again, and you'll reveal a huge bar down at the bottom. This is the database of Easy Worship. It's where everything is housed. So you have songs. All of our songs are listed here. You have scripture, all of the scripture from the NIV translation or ESV. You can just click and drag over to the schedule. We have our media, which is our videos and images. Presentations, which are used for different elements within the worship service. And then we have themes, which themes dictate how certain things look in the worship service. So on a Sunday morning, you really won't need this bar. So we'll go ahead and we will drag this back down. And I would encourage you to do the same if you come in here on Sunday and the screen looks kind of like this. I would just drag this down to the bottom and then I would also get rid of this live output as well too. It's just not necessary. And now you understand the basic layout of Easy Worship.